65 million years ago dinosaurs roamed the earth but how did these magnificent creatures disappear? Let's join Max on an adventure to find out. Roar, I'm a T-Rex, fear me! Meet Max, he's crazy about dinosaurs, I mean just look at his room. It's like a prehistoric museum in here. Max, time for bed. You can play with your dinosaurs tomorrow. I wish I could meet real dinosaurs, learn how they lived, and maybe even save them. Little did Max know, his wish was about to come true, and he'd learn an important lesson about change and adaptation. I wish I could see real dinosaurs. And then something magical happened. Whoa, what's happening? Hold on to your hats, folks, we're going on a prehistoric adventure. Welcome to the Cretaceous period, about 66 million years ago. No way, it, it worked! Now, folks, you might think Max would be scared out of his wits, but our little dino expert was, well, okay. He was pretty scared. Oh no, a Triceratops stuck in the mud. Triceratops was a herbivore with a large frill and three horns, used for defense and maybe even for show. But right now, this one was just showing how stuck it was. Don't worry, I'll help you. Almost got it. Pop, the Triceratops was free. And then something amazing happened. Thank you, I'm Trixie. You... you can talk? And so began an unlikely friendship between a boy and a dinosaur, who would have thought? Want to meet my other dino friends? Do I ever! Trixie introduced Max to Long Neck the Brachiosaurus, stretching up high into the treetops. Hello down there, tiny ones. Wow, you're as tall as a building! Max was having the time of his life, learning about dinosaurs firsthand. Brachiosaurus could weigh as much as five elephants. This is amazing, I've never had so much fun. As Max played games with his prehistoric pals, he was learning more than he ever could from books. But little did they know, a big change was coming. What was that? Oh boy, folks. Remember that lesson about change I mentioned? Well, here it comes. Just as Max was getting used to his prehistoric playground, something caught everyone's eye. A bright light streaking across the sky. Wow, look at that shooting star. Shooting star? That's no star, little ones. It's getting bigger. Oh boy, if only it were just a star. This was an asteroid, about six miles wide, hurtling towards Earth at incredible speed. Is... is that bad? The dinosaurs could sense something was wrong. The air felt different, heavier somehow. Changes are coming, little one. Big changes. Longneck was right. This asteroid's impact would cause catastrophic changes to Earth's climate, leading to the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs. Extinction? No, there has to be something we can do. But as the sky darkened and temperatures dropped, even Max realized this was beyond anyone's control. It's getting cold, Max. I'm scared. The effects were devastating. Massive tsunamis, global wildfires, and a cloud of dust that would block the sun for years. This can't be happening. I... I wanted to save you. It's okay, Max. It's not your fault. As Max sat with Trixie feeling helpless and sad, he was about to learn a big lesson about life, death, and the cycle of nature. Now, folks, things were looking pretty grim. But our boy Max, he wasn't ready to give up just yet. Wait a minute. Not all dinosaurs went extinct. Some of them, they evolved. That's right. Not all dinosaurs went extinct. Some evolved into the birds we know today. Smart thinking, Max. Guys, I have an idea. We need to find a way to adapt. Adapt? What's that? It's like changing to fit in with your new home. Like how fish grew legs to walk on land. Oh, boy, explaining evolution to dinosaurs. Now that's something you don't see every day. Everyone, follow me! I know how to survive! And so began Operation Save the Dinos. It was like herding cats, if cats were several tons heavy and had very tiny brains. Ah! We need to make a shelter! Like this? As they worked, Max explained more about adaptation and survival. The world is changing, so we need to change too. Some of you might get smaller, grow feathers. Did someone say feathers? I've got those. Ah yes, meet Terry the Pterodactyl. He didn't know it, but his kind were already well on their way to becoming birds. Yes, like Terry. He's already adapted for the new world. 
As the climate continued to change dramatically, Max led his group of smaller dinosaurs to a cave he'd spotted. Hurry, in here, we'll be safe. Well, safe might be a strong word, but Max's quick thinking had given some of these dinosaurs a fighting chance. Thank you, Max. You've given us hope. I just wish I could do more. And there you have it, folks. A boy from the future trying to change the past. But as Max was about to learn, sometimes change, even the hard kind, is necessary for new beginnings. As Max hugged his dinosaur friends goodbye, the cave began to glow with an otherworldly light. I'll never forget you guys. You didn't really disappear, did you? You just changed, like everything does. Hey there, little Dino. You're like new life from the old, aren't you? And who knows, maybe there's a little bit of dinosaur in all of us. How Dinosaurs Disappeared, a Pixar-style adventure, the end.